All right, how's it going, you guys? So today I wanted to do um, a chat with you guys talking about the GTR because I know I haven't talked about it much. Um, so yeah, welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a like and um, leave a comment if you have any questions. But basically, my name is Miguel and um, I specialize in marketing. Uh, I am a cryptocurrency investor and I just purchased my first GTR uh, and I'm 20 years old. So I wanted to talk to you guys about how I was able to afford this car and uh, what what I did to, to be able to get to this point in my life where I can enjoy things like this. Um, so basically I'll start from the beginning. Uh, I started a marketing agency when I was 19 uh, with two other guys and we were based in San Francisco uh, and we, we learned a ton. Um, you know, I will say that when we started out, we, it was just balls to the wall, you know, like we, we knew that we wanted to create a marketing, marketing agency. We knew that we needed to get clients and we knew that um, we already had connections to influencers because uh, the main focus of our agency was social media marketing. And so we worked with influencers. We worked with influencers um, all around the world <clears throat> to make this happen. So I uh, created that agency, uh, worked there for a year, gained a lot of experience, made a little bit of money. Uh, there was some issues with some of the founders, so I ended up leaving and I created my own agency in April of this year, 2017. Um, then from there, uh, I started acquiring new clients. I started. Um, you know, reaching out to potential uh, candidates for influencers um, and started reconstructing what I had already built at the first agency, uh, basically duplicating that model. And so once I duplicated that model, um, I, things started get, getting into a rhythm and money started coming in. And uh, that's basically what I'm doing right now is running my, my uh, social media agency, um, doing consulting for several brands and so forth. The second source of revenue uh, would be cryptocurrency, which is a little bit more recent. Um, I started investing in crypto, specifically Bitcoin, um, about my first investment, which was like $25, was in uh, September of this year. And uh, that was just to kind of test the market and see what it was about. Um, that's when Bitcoin was at like 3000 And now I've tripled my money on that investment. And then... Uh, about a month or two after that, when Bitcoin was around 5K or 6K, I believe, I invested another 1,050, which I have doubled my money on that. Um, and then about three weeks ago, yeah, about three weeks ago, I invested another 5,000 um, into Bitcoin when it was around uh, 7K. Um, and then the day, literally three hours after I made that investment, Bitcoin crashed to like 5K. And so that was kind of uh, shitty. But I, I had faith that it would go back up because it was just, you know, that's, that's how the stock market works. That's how uh, cryptocurrencies work. They're very volatile. So you kind of have to just stomach that and uh, know that you're in it for the long run and not the short term. Because if you're in it for the short term, you really, really, really got to have... Um, you know, balls to do it because it goes up and down, up and down all the time. And uh, if you're in it, like I said, for the short term, just like the stock market, you you, you lose the moment you pull your money out. So if, if it goes down, um, say like for me, it went down, uh, you know, two thousand dollars. That's insane. Um, if I would have pulled my money out, I would have lost. But since I left my money in there because I knew and I believed that it would go back up, then. Um, you know, I didn't lose any money and I actually ended up making, you know, over $1,500 because right now it's around, it's at around 10, it's like $40 away from 10K, $20 away from 10K. Maybe it's even uh, lower now. So, um, guys, I apologize. If, it's, if this video is shaky, I apologize. We're going to post it anyways. Uh, the roads here aren't exactly beautiful. Um, but basically, I've been doing that and so I, I ended up taking my 5K that I invested out and I left only my earnings. So my earnings, um, when I pulled out my money, were around $600 on Bitcoin um, because some of my money had doubled and I basically summed up all that money and I ended up putting it into BitConnect um, 
because that's something I've been I've been doing research on, something I've been studying and, and learning from various people. Some say it's a Ponzi scheme, some say it's not. Um, long story short, I'm getting paid out daily from BitConnect, um, and I'll post a video on that soon. Um, but the other, I guess my other source of revenue would be, I guess if you count it, my so my third source of revenue would be YouTube. YouTube I started about two months ago, and uh, I didn't really start taking it seriously until about three weeks ago, where I started posting daily, daily like daily content, filming daily, um, and that's when my subscribers started to go up. I don't have a lot by any means, but uh, you don't need a lot of subscribers to get a lot of views, and you don't need a lot of views um, to get a lot of subscribers. You know, it's just about the kind of con the, the content you post, if people like it or not, and what you're doing to drive traffic to it, and how you, and and if you're monetizing it. So I just got approved for, for monetization. So uh, this is going to be another source of revenue for me, but I'm not really relying on it. My main source of revenue right now, or my main source of revenue is the agency. And then uh, crypto is something I would like to um, turn into a passive income so that I can uh, make some significant money from it and not have to worry about solely relying on the agency. The goal is, you know, the goal to, um, to making good money and to being able to afford things like goal to be to being able to make good money and affording things like this is to have different sources of revenue do not rely on just one source of revenue so for example when i was in high school um i've known that i was going to be an entre entrepreneur since i was young like when i was in high school i would buy cars and i would flip them you know like i, I worked at a grocery store and i worked at a, at a restaurant for one or two years <clears throat> when i was 15 and a half 16 17 and I saved up as much money as I could and my passion's always been cars so basically what I did is I flipped cars um, and I like all I would do is I, I would go on Craigslist I would look for people that were as bad as it sounds they were in shit situations um, and they needed to get rid of their cars and so they were desperate to, to get cash in hand so I would show up with the cash and they would give me a really good deal then I would you know enjoy it for a month or two and then turn around and sell it for a profit so that's kind of how I got started the second second thing I did when I was in high school was I also started this is how we got into the whole social media agency thing I started my own uh, truck page for Toyotas because I, I had one and I was you know like I said I was really interested in cars that was what I did and so I decided you know why not start a feature page for people that are interested in Tacomas so I did that grew it to about uh, like 10k um, and I was like you know what there's you know I can make money off of this I can monetize this so um, I grew it to that to that amount and then I came up with uh, a logo like a yeah like a logo for for the page and for people to uh, to identify our page as that and I got I went to a local store here in, in my town and I had them make me renders of um, of what the logo would look like digitally and then I turned that into a, a vinyl sticker like good quality vinyl sticker and um, and from there I started selling it so I was making around, I would say an additional 500 a month from selling these, uh, yeah, like 500 a month from selling these stickers to people, and that was like, and like I was 16 or 17, and I was making an additional $500 a month, like, that's pretty good, you know, like, when you're 16, 500 goes a long way, um, so... Yeah, I, I started doing this and I was flipping cars and I was saving my money and I saved all my money. Like a lot of my friends, um, they either had jobs or their parents gave them their money and that's totally fine, I have nothing against it. But the thing is they'd spent all their money on um, you know, alcohol and, and other various things, um, which is fine, that's, that's their personal decision. But I knew that um, you know, I wanted to do something with my life and um, yeah so I saved all my money and I started buying nice cars nice things you know this is what I passionate about this is what I wanted and uh, yeah so that's what I did so slowly over the years by the end of high school I had around twenty thousand dollars saved up um, and that was you know that was crazy to me um, that I had been able to do that so that really motivated me to keep going and to keep uh, you know moving forward because that's always my thing you know people would ask me Miguel why are you buying so many different cars like what's the point you're just wasting your money but little did they know that I was either making money on every deal um, 
breaking breaking even on the transactions or um, or just moving ahead like that was my thing why why would you want to be average or why would you want to stay in the same place for so long you know like if you have God, this road is awful if if you have the opportunity to um, to keep moving forward and keep uh, getting better like getting nicer things like why wouldn't you do that you know why would you want to stay in the same place so that was my mentality and it still is and so that's why I continuously keep upgrading the things I have um, even if they're materialistic you know like I see people spending their money on jewelry on shoes on alcohol on trips on you know whatever it is this is my this is my joy this is my passion I love cars and this is what I want to spend my money on so if you want to you know I get people that are judging me all the time and that's fine but if you notice the people that are talking about you are the people that aren't doing shit with their lives so um, yeah you know if you're watching this you know who you are but um, yeah guys so basically to sum things up I own a marketing agency uh, I'm, inve I'm an investor in the cryptocurrency world and at a young age I started I was an entrepreneur you know I flipped cars I sold uh, decals um, what else did I do oh I invested <laughs> when I was like 17 I invested in the stock market thanks to uh, Tim Sykes he really inspired me to become a penny stock investor and I lost $2,200 um, so yeah that one hurt um, so I've guys it's not a one hit like you're not gonna hit a home run on the first try you know like I've tried so many things and I've lost a lot of money but I've also gained a lot of experience because it's not about how much money you lose or focusing on the loss but rather what you take away from it so like I'm gonna try everything there is even if I lose money you know like right now I'm in the middle of launching a watch company which I'll share with you guys soon um, you know there's just so many things that I want to do and uh, that I want to share with you guys so that's just that's just the tip of it you know um, so yeah guys that's how I afforded this GTR I'm gonna be making tons of videos um, with the GTR showcasing it um, showing you what it can do and um, <clears throat> you know just sharing more info about um, you know what it's like owning one of these like the, the maintenance costs um, and you know several things like that so again I appreciate you guys uh, you know keeping up with my channel again if you haven't please subscribe uh, hit the thumbs up button and I will talk to you guys soon see you guys later